two, one, go. All right, two of each off the half platforms here. Now three blue. And 1972, if you get off on time, that would have been worth six points. Didn't quite make it, though. Another close match, but we're not seeing a lot of high scores. Uh, would have expected that as the tournament went on and teams had a chance to drive the robots several times, everyone's driven four or five times by now, that we'd start to see maybe a little better coordinated, uh, coordinated play. Robots working to their strengths to score. Some are doing that, some not so much. Again, it's hard to develop strategy when the alliances are only formed for one match and then broken up again. Of course, that will be different when we get tomorrow afternoon into the elimination tournament where we have quarters, semis, and then the finals where the alliances will have some chance to have some serious discussions about the strengths of each robot and how to play offense and defense in a coordinated fashion. So tomorrow afternoon, we're definitely going to see some high scores. 45 seconds now. Vantage red, but a ways to go. 51-24, scoring cargo for blue. Helps to close that gap. Now 20 seconds. We've seen how important and how sometimes exciting the end game can be. 51-24, scoring again really quickly. Again, that's essentially a tie score. Too close to call. 294. Making the, the grab there. 3-2-1. And they're able to stay up long enough. They've got that plate on the bottom of the rover showing off their sponsors too, because they know they'd be able to get 56, 51, close game here. That half climb there, 18 to 12. That was a lot of the difference. Blue Alliance led in terms of cargo and hatch panels and sandstorm for that matter.